Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik and today I'm going to demonstrate an iPhone app by modelplace.ai. On this app, you can use any model that is available on modelplace.ai and try it out using your own picture. Now, there's a collection of models that are available for object detection, uh, image uh, segmentation, text recognition, and so on and so forth. So we will try a few of these models, but any model that is available on modelplace.ai is also available in this app. And we are going to share the source code for this app uh, in, in about a week. So please go and subscribe to our newsletter. All the people who have subscribed to the newsletter will receive the source code for this app and a ton of other things as we progress in modelplace.ai when new models are released you'll get a notification for that as well so let's get started now as you can see i'm starting with uh, this emotion recognition as the first one let's see if it can recognize our emotions or not the app is very simple when you land on this app the only thing you see is hey pick a model first because we don't want to complicate it you just pick a model uh, I, have picked, uh, I have picked uh, emotion recognition. There are a bunch of models here you can see uh, for vehicle detection, emotion recognition, text detection, and uh, object, all kinds of object detection. We'll, we'll go over a few of those. So let's pick emotion, emotion recognition and uh, I'll take my own picture and see uh, what my emotion looks like. Turn it around. Let me smile, a big smile. Okay, I took this picture and it's sending it to the cloud. It's finished now and it's coming back. Look at the results. We have this cool result. It says that I'm 98% happy. Well, it's off by 2%. I'm 100% happy. So uh, this, is, this is very cool. It uh, you know uploaded this picture from your phone to the cloud and got the results back. So if you ever want to build an iPhone app that had capabilities that you need for which are available on modelplace.ai, you think you can simply copy this code and start uh, your uh, phone development, phone app development. So, all right, let's select this model called Textbox++. Textbox++ uh, recognizes all text. It creates a bounding box around uh, the text. It's a text detector, not a recognizer, my mistake. So it's a text rec a detector and if you point, uh, you know, if the scene contains text, it will detect it. Let's point uh, my camera to, uh, to this focus right box I have. So you can see uh, I have this box right in front of me. I took this picture and I used it. It's sending it to the server and we will get the result right back. You can see here that the bounding box is around the word focus right. And this is just a cool, um, cool uh, before after kind of uh, effect. Uh, you slide this, the upper part of the image is, uh, is before and the lower part of the image is after. Now let's, uh, let's pick another model and see um, if we can get uh, some other, uh, other results. Um, okay, let's pick hand landmark uh, detector. Now, I am not George Costanza, I'm not a hand model, so my hands are not going to look very pretty, but let's, uh, let's just try it out. I have uh, my hand right here, and we are going to take a picture uh, here, right here, and let's take a picture. And it's processing, it's queuing it up, and let's look at the results. Oh, slightly off, but still pretty we good. We had a ton of models. Uh, and sometimes for the same feature, we have two different models so that you can try it out for yourself and see which one works uh, for you. So um, let's try another model here. Uh, which one should we choose? Oh, we can choose one which is uh, by Big Vision. It is called Person BG Remove. It removes the background uh, from a person's face. And I'm going to actually uh, use... Uh, I'm going to turn it around, use it on my, uh, on my picture live. Let's see how it does. If it doesn't do good, uh, I can talk to the, found, uh, to the people who created this and improve it. But let's see how it goes. So we are sending it to the cloud. 
it's queued up again and fair enough it does a very solid job you can see that it removed the background and replaced it with a black background pretty solid pretty solid i would say so uh, very nice results um, and let's move on to some other uh, examples let's see which one we can choose um, face face mesh maybe another one maybe i should remove my glasses it will create a, me a mesh around the face or maybe not i should just keep going with this let's see what kind of face mesh we get okay now this is sending look how quick this results are even if you want to use in any photo application you can use our cloud api and it will work just fine for you so you can see that we have created the face mesh um, you can save these results onto your phone to actually see um, see the results uh, clearly uh, let's go to my phone and this is the result that you that we created so you can see the dots represent the face mesh so there are uh, a lot of such uh, applications uh, or models that are available on model place i uh, recommend you to go and uh, check it out please sign up at the link below so that uh, we can give you the source code for this uh, for this uh, app when it is available that's all for today i hope that you like this starter code app we have created and you use it in your application, use the cloud API that we have provided in your own application and build something cool. The beauty is that with just, uh, you know, with this starter code, you have access to all the different models that are available by us, some by our community members, and uh, people are constantly adding new models to modelplace.ai. And we also have some benchmarking features where you can choose which model is right for you if you choose to download this model to your computer and do it. But for phone applications, you can use the cloud API. For many web applications, the cloud API works just fine. So try it out and let us know if you want new features, new models, etc. Thank you.